<laughs> this guy's toast. Let's do mage next. Let me see that bum 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 bum. Baby. That bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Cosmic anomaly for mana four three plus two spell power. What's that card from um Oh god Kobold Illusionist Evolutionist The one that gives you plus two spell power oh, what's it called? Angry Kobold Angry Kobold Geomancer Evolved Kobold there you go That's a four mana two two with plus two spell power You're getting two more attack one more health and it's an elemental tag. Expensive though, and weak for the body. So I'm gonna put this right here. I'll put it here. Cause I don't think elemental mage needs spelled. Toes, that card is crazy good. Toes, that card is bad. See, this is why card reviews are fun. And it's a conversation. Because some of you are thinking, Cosmic Anomaly? Yo, this is fire. This is hot. This is super hot. And others of you, you see this card, you see doo-doo. And that's okay. That's okay. Shooting star, one mana, deal one damage to a minion and the minions next to it. I like this. It's just a very neat, like, zap. Bzz. Put it here. It's not a game changer. It's a neat card. Put it somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Cheap spell. Maybe it's a bit weak. One damage. Does one damage kill anything these days? No, I think cheap spells are good. Good for Thalnos. Yeah, I'll put it in the middle. <gasps> oh, when I saw this card reveal today, I was so happy. Oh, this card. It is hot fire. This is hot fire. I'm so glad. So glad they printed this card. Because it means Quest Mage is much more viable now. Any combo mage, OTK mage, becomes so much more powerful. This is a billion times better than Cola Oracle. Because it's one mana cheaper. You can glyph into it. And it gets reduced by Sorcerer's Apprentice. Mm. 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 We're still reeling from the loss of Ice Block. It hurts. It hurts. But this makes it so much better. Personal bias, because I love Quest Mage, I love OTK Mage. But man, was I happy to see this card. Better than Cola Oracle in pretty much every single way. I like it. I like it. Celestial Emissary, your next spell this turn has plus two, battle cry. Elemental, similar to Cosmic Anomaly. Me. 
Mi Mi Meteorologist. Six mana, three, three, battle cry for each card in your hand. Deal one damage to a random enemy. Of course, something like this fits very nicely in Big Mage. Because you're piling up a lot of cards. But if you're a Big Mage piling up a lot of cards, that means your opponent is a control deck. Also piling up a lot of cards. And being able to deal like seven, eight random damage that can hit the enemy. If this was minion only, I think it would be a lot better. Because against aggro decks, this isn't gonna be that good. Because against aggro deck, you have to be spending your card to clear. You're using your Dragon Fury, you're using your Flame Strike, you're using your Media, you're using your Doom Series, you're using your things that keep you alive. So you're using your cards too, right? And you already have so much ways to remove. This is just a little extra cherry on the top. So in the matchups where it's good against, which is aggro, lots of minions, you can't get good value from the battle cry. In matchups where you don't really need it, which is like slow, long-term matchups, the damage won't affect that much. Unless you play, hmm. <laughs> Aluneth aggro and this is for cases where you draw your entire deck with Aluneth and you can't spend it fast enough You're like, oh, well, I'm just gonna drop a meteorologist for my damage Yeah It's Tapu It's Tapu Those, what happened to ice block? Uh, Blizzard decided that Guaranteeing yourself a survival for one turn for three mana is kind of OP. And it is. Maybe not OP, but people baby rage every time their opponent ice block. It's like, oh my god, my slow, slow combo OTK fun deck can't kill him. Anywho, Astral Rift, add two random minions to your hand. So two mana, draw two cards is good. Two mana, add two random minions, random minions. It's good value, but if you really want a minions that bad, why not just play Book of Scepters? It's fun. I can see the clickbait already. Astral Rift gave me the two perfect minions? Not clickbait. <laughs> I'll give it a little higher value because of meme potential. Astral Rift into Leroy. I got lethal off Astral Rift. Hmm. Tell us where can I find all the new cards? Disguisetools.com. Disguisetools.com. This this is the site I'm using. Disguisetools.com. Disguisetools.com. It's all it's also organized into class for you. If you don't wanna, you know, go through a jumble, just go to disguisetools.com. Unexpected results. Some two random two cost minions. Meh. Even with the spell power gimmick. Very meh. Astromancer, seven mana, five five, battle cry, summon a random minion with the cost equal to number of cards in hand. You can see them going for like 
big hand, big spell mage with mountain giants. Twilight Drakes. Research Project adds cards. Book of Scepters adds cards. Astral Rift adds cards. There is a lot of ways for mage to get lots of cards in the hand, now that I think about it. Research Project gives you two. Astral Rift gives you two. Book of Scepter can give you three. Your Mountain Giant would be cheap. Your Twilight Drake would be huge. Your Astral Mancer would summon a big thing. Your Meteorologist would deal big damage. Is the package strong enough? You know what they say about decks with big hands, right? Stargazer Luna, um, good in aggro, but you have to high roll. There's potential, but you have to high roll. Aggressive mage, you play the Sources Apprentice. Arcan Missile, Mana Worm, blah, 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 blah. Aggro mage would run Research Project as well, I think. I think aggro mage will be a thing. In the new expansion. Between Stargazer Luna and Research Project, which are great refill cards for cheap. I think Aggro Mage would be a thing. You guys know how much I hate Aggro Mage. Mana Worm, Archaeologist, oh, look, a counter spell. Aluneth on six, fireball, 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 fireball. Is Aluneth enough? Um, I think you would run either Research Project or Luna over AI. I do feel like AI is one of the weaker pieces. Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Alright chat, green or red? Because whenever legendaries come out to play, it's really divisive because people tend to think legendaries are either OP gods or trash unplayable. They're either a doll Macedorian or an ultimate infestation. You get occasional middle of the line legendaries like Hellmaster Shaw. I think Hellmaster Shaw is a great example of a decent legendary. This is not a decent legendary. This is trash. Because I can't think of a way to make this a consistent combo. If you hit this on Antonidas and you're running the Sorcerer's Repentance combo, you can pop off with the OTK without quest or anything else. It's just that, uh, do you have time? Can you guarantee it? Are you going to run Baleful Banker? Like, hey, on turn 9, I'm an Archmage Antonidas and Baleful Banker. And then after that, I have to hope I don't draw Antonidas and have 7 mana to play Luna's Pocket Galaxy, assuming I have it in my hand. And hope my opponent just doesn't destroy me. It's a lot of requirements. Hmm... Think about the dream combo. The dream combo is great. I will pull this off. No question. The odds of Luna's Pocket Galaxy being drawn before Archmage Antonidas is a 50% every single game. So 
with enough games, you can pull off the combo. You can find seven mana to play this for one turn. Again, maybe Big Druid. And you're just stalling out till you draw Archmage Antonidas and you combo it. I don't like combo decks that are based around the deck order. Like, hey, if I play Doll Macedorian and I draw into Ragnarosis, it dies. I don't like those combos. I like combos where it's guaranteed. I don't even like Twig of the World Tree combo. Because it gets messed up by weapon removal. So, I'm going to put this uh, a bit lower. And that's all the mage cards. Research project, I think, is a game changer for a lot of mage, a lot of mage decks. Because aggro mage don't care too much. They care a little bit, but they don't care too much about what their opponent's drawing. They're just trying to draw their burn. And combo OTK mage really doesn't care about what your opponent is doing. It's like I don't care what you're doing. I'm just gonna draw my sorcerer's apprentice, my simulacrum. You guys have a good time doing what you want to do. I think Agro Mage has Stargazer Luna Research Project as refill. And yeah. Hey, lights out.